Okay, last portion of my question would be probably the most wacko. Does Abraham connect with anyone or any entity outside of our planet? All of us are outside of your planet. <laughs> we can't even find boundaries to this boundaryless universe. Consciousness is not limited by time or space. Is Abraham aware of consciousness off of this planet? The majority of the consciousness that we are encouraging you to be receptive of, you could say is off this planet in the sense that we are not here in physical bodies as you are. And yet we're still having this conversation. Yeah, I see. Okay. We understand your desire to I'm just quantify curious. the energy, but in that attempt to satisfy the question that has a sort of flaw at its basis, then we just add to the making up of things and you've got enough of that going on to try to get you to be able to, from your physical format, where you are seeing and hearing and smelling and tasting and touching. In the beginning, people would ask questions like that. They'd want to know how many of us there are. And so we just said about a hundred just to get them to stop asking <laughs> because there was no way of explaining. There was no way that they could hear what we meant. Now, these days, as we're talking more about energies flowing and infinite intelligence and vibration, more of you are beginning to understand. And then particularly in these hours that we've been together, as we're talking about this vibrational reality and your relationship to it, that you can't see or hear or smell or taste or touch, but you can sense. And so here Esther is vibrationally up to speed with who we are and able to receive us. So you might say she's like a satellite dish that's beaming us in, but even that's a distortion, isn't it? Helpful enough and Thank not you. so helpful. Yeah. You kind of have to be there. <laughs>